So we're going to talk about why, in my personal opinion, roles ruined. The way that roles are designed now ruined DNF duels, pressure, mind games. Or not mind games, just pressure in general on knockdown, especially in the corner. We're going to talk mostly about it in the corner. So I'm going to go over every point that I mentioned in this video, current video, in this, um, not video, in this, uh, thread, because I keep getting told that, like, you're supposed to bait something with, you know, a delay button, but there's two issues with that to start. First of all, first I'm going to name why roll is, like, really powerful now in the corner, regardless if you have to bait it or not, it's still very powerful because of the design change. Um, so I'm gonna list them and then I'm gonna talk about like why like it's not like people like guys you guys gotta understand like anytime you have to delay a button to stop something, that means that it's a powerful option on defense because now you're giving up your pressure that you would have otherwise been guaranteed, right? So for example, if I'm a character and I do a safe jump the reason why save jumps are so powerful is because you get some sort of pressure. Even if it's just the save jump itself, you still get pressure on the DP. You can do a save jump and then block the DP. But with rolls, that's not the case. You can't do that. So let's talk about that. Well, let's let's first talk about the, the list. Cause, so I'm going out of order because I'm responding to uh, what someone said on the tweet that I mentioned. But I'm going to go in order first. So I'm going to talk about the three the, the things that I mentioned. Or I think it's four things I mentioned about why rolls are so powerful. And they're not the same mind game as the DP. They're not the same mind game at all. There's a lot more baiting in the DPs in general that rolls don't have. So let's first talk about the list that I made. So... Um, I went ahead and said, so the first thing you need to understand with rolls being so powerful is that you don't get more advantage for OS and rolls, right? So if you OS a roll and you go for a throw, right? Let's say they roll and you do a jump and I'm, I'm not going to do it because I don't have it completely down yet, but you can OS a roll by doing a throw. But when you do the throw, like let's say they roll, if I set him to roll, and I saw that I saw this coming if roles got changed because this is the same issue in MK11, and people are complaining about the wake up system in that game too. So it's kind of funny to see people excuse it in this game, but especially because you don't require meter to roll. But um, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm gonna sh first of all let's first talk about how roles can get get thrown because that's the that's the, usually the like OS I hear people say right. It's like oh you can throw them out of roll. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't get... This is the same problem we had with flawless blocking. You can read a flawless block, but you don't really get much for it. If they're OSing the correct way, and you go for a throw, and you delay your throw, um, you don't get anything. You just get a throw. So, uh, on defense, they get more of a reward, because even if they get thrown, it doesn't really do anything. Like, yeah, the throws might give you advantage. They actually give you more advantage in MK11, but in DNF, they might give you a little bit of advantage, you know, where a striker could do, like, a 5B. But, they could just roll again. Okay, I go for a throw. 5B. They could roll and jump back. This is a very common thing that I do. The reason why I know that this is like broken, by the way, isn't because I'm complaining about people doing it. It's because I do it too. This happens a lot. Where people, I think they think that like... They think that, like, I'm defending it because, like, I want more pressure, but it's more like I'm doing it and, like, I'm defending it because I want more pressure. So, like, there you go. So, like, you see here? I'm going to show you. Go for a throw. I do 5B. Look. Out of the corner. Because he's got, he's got more recovery, or less recovery now, too. The so characters can just do that in certain situations, depending on the character you're playing. So you don't get pressure in the corner because... I mean, you could throw again, but now you're making a read because all Berserker has to do is 5A there, or uh, sorry, 2A, and you're dead. See what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people will say, well, let me let me keep going. So, the other thing I mentioned about throws was, well, yeah, throws get white, give white health. That's another big thing because white health gives you conversion in this game. So being able to conversion, conversion is pretty much like Roman cancel, and it gives you meter. So I've seen Sonic Soul get thrown and then use white health to TOD someone. Like that's something you definitely have to keep in mind with throws. Like 
they're not as powerful as people think they are. They, they, rolls did not buff throws. Like, throws are still doing the same thing that they were doing before. The only difference is now we're forced to do them because of roll. Um, so the next one is, if you delay your button, you're getting giving up your turn. Hence, MK11, where people were baiting roll, only get jumped and wake up buttons. So this is important. I feel like this one's the number one important thing, because I hear this a lot, just bait it. Omega lols, just bait, just bait it, right? But the thing is, if you're just baiting something, the, the thing about offense that makes offense so good on knockdown is that, like, in a sense, if you want to be very blanket about it, you're basically OSing every option your opponent has because they can't do anything on knockdown. Because when you knock them down, you have all the advantage. That's the idea behind getting a knockdown, is you have more advantage than your opponent. The problem with rolls is rolls prevent that from happening because now I have to guess if you're going to roll or not. See, the thing is, when I do a safe jump, right, the difference between a safe jump on a DP and a safe jump on a roll is that when I do a safe jump on a roll, I'm not going to get another safe jump. With a safe jump on a DP, I'm going to get another safe jump, so I can loop my offense in the corner. That's the point of the corner. The point of the corner is I get all my offense in the corner. The other issue is that safe jumps actually give you pressure on, 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 a, on a DP because when you do that initial jump attack, that's pressure. That's considered pressure. I'm getting a jump in. Even if I block after I do it, I'm still getting pressure. Rolls don't give you that option. Yeah, I mean throw, but throw doesn't really give you pressure because after that I can't do anything. I'm too far away to apply any more pressure. See my point? And then on top of that, to finally kind of cap off this whole roll debate, I guess, if you want to call it a roll debate, uh, or just like my, I won't even say roll debate, like just my opinions on roll and why I think, you know, the roll buff kind of ruined the game a little bit, um, is rolls don't cost meter. So people are going to be wake up rolling for free. So that's going to be amazing. That's going to be fun. I'm definitely going to love that. Like people just rolling when they have no meter at all, you know? Because you know the whole point of having meter is to manage it, but with rolls you don't get that option. So you just have to make reads. Um, and then I guess like this is kind of a small point. Well, no, this is a big point too. But people say just bait rolls, but the thing is, when you bait a roll, you're giving up your turn. See, so see my point. It always comes back to this. You're giving up your turn when you bait roll. And if you don't bait roll, they're gonna they're gonna do this. They're gonna be in the corner. Someone's gonna knock them down. They're gonna do this. And now they're out of the corner. So now the corner is less emphasized because of how the rolls got buffed. And that's just, this is a fact. There's no, it doesn't matter if I combo them the other way. That's not relevant. Now Striker's ben benefits for the fact that like she, her combos carry you literally to the corner and her dive kick kind of OS's roll. She's not gonna get punished, you know, doing a dive kick, even if you roll. So that is a small thing that she benefits from, but I really, really think baiting roll, Omega lol, is not the answer because baiting a roll and baiting a DP are not the same thing. Like, even just in principle, right? Because, like, when you jump, when you jump, right, you can save jump and block a DP or walk back and then get the DP to whiff. But with roll, you only have two options. It's, well, roll, you only have throw, which gives them more advantage. And then, you, or you have walk back, or just stand there and get pressured. So, I, I mean, I'm, I, it's whatever. I'm still gonna play DNF. I love DNF. I love Striker. Striker's one of my favorite characters of all time, probably. I just think she's a cool ass character. But like, I, I really, like, I don't know. I don't understand because we had the same issue in MK11, but people are defending it. It's just weird to me. It's weird because it doesn't cost meter either. So I don't quite understand. The only thing I can think of is the fact that you can OS rolls and there's no delay wake up. Like, you can kind of OS them. I think that's the only reason why people are defending it. Because it's really similar to MK11. Like, people are going to be wake up mashing now or rolling. Um, and it's that, that's just not the same as DP and, and wake up mashing. It's just, it's not the same. Um... Especially considering what they get out of the roll compared to what they get out of the DP. Unless they're striker, right? Or like Hitman. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about. I mean, 
please guys feel free to give me more knowledge because i love learning more if i'm completely off base on this thing i always tell people this i'm completely off base i will adjust my my attitude and my opinions on an issue but i need to be like i need some convincing and most of the convincing i've gotten so far is not very solid to me and i think rules are going to be a huge part of dnf now um just because they cost no meter and they're very they have really good recovery like i just don't see like now when i play striker i back off like i like you know i like knock him down oops i dropped it Like, I do stuff like that, or like, backdash, like... Like, I do stuff like that, like, back off, because I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna swing or roll. Um... I could do a deep, like, I could do this. Could do something like that, but I'm pretty sure the Berserker player can can jump out on him. Oh, I dropped it. I mean, I, I could just do this. Yeah. So, as you can see there, this is the whole story, right? See? So as you can see there, I have to guess. I have to guess. I either have to do the DP, or the DP, the uh, dive kick safe jump, reading that he's gonna mash, or I have to do, well, or, well, okay, so if I do the dive kick safe jump, reading that he's gonna mash, he's gonna roll out and jump back. So he's out of the corner. If I do a delayed dive kick, and then I bait out the roll, I'll get a full combo punish. Or early dive kick, sorry. But, Either way, now Berserker has an option to get out of the corner or mash. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure he can mash. Yeah, yeah, because I showed you earlier. He can mash on that early dive kick. So, we're in new. Like, I don't quite understand what people mean by, like, they, they either get out of the corner or they get a combo. I mean, you could argue that you get a combo if you bait either one. But the problem is, you they get out of the corner with one of them. So it's like, they get all the benefit. Like, yeah, I mean, you could try to bait one or the other, but it's not guaranteed like before. You don't get guaranteed pressure like you did before. That's the big issue, is you don't get guaranteed. If you got guaranteed pressure off roll, so like, for example, if I did like, you know, if I did like something like this, sorry. Right, and I was able to hit, like, get hit Berserker jumping back on a read, then it'd be different. Because he would be out of the corner, but I get pressure. See what I'm saying? That would be a reasonable solution to this problem. Because at least I would get something. But the problem is now I'm going to get nothing if I make the wrong read. And with DPs, with, with safe jumps on DPs, you get something. You get a jump in. You get pressure. You get them in the corner. See, see what I'm saying? You, you kind of understand what I'm saying now? Like, you get something for making, for attempting an OS, which is a save jump. I consider a save jump kind of an OS because, like, you get the you get the guaranteed jump in, and if they DP or not, you're still gonna, you know, you're still gonna get some 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 pressure, even if it's just a jump in, and they're in the corner. So even if they pressure you, you're sitting in the corner getting pressured instead of getting full combo punished, like the mash. See what I'm saying? That's the difference. That's why I think rolls are I think rolls are going to be a problem. That's just my personal opinion. Again, feel free to correct me. I'm always willing to learn as a fighting game player and learn more. That's just my first initial thoughts on roll and why I think that roll is really really kind of going to be a problem at least in theory because now the corner is not going to be as strong as it was before. 
Especially with characters like Stryker. Oh my gosh. Like, Stryker has to, like, back off now. You know, or she's just going to lose the corner. Um, which defeats the purpose of Stryker because she's a guard break. Like, she's yeah, really good at guard breaking. Even, even with the nerfs, she's still really good. She can do two strings and your guard broken. So, anyway. That's all I want to talk about today. Have fun playing fighting games. Have a good fight. Sorry if I've come off negative. It's just, I, we, we, we literally just experienced this in MK11, so I don't quite understand what the argument is. Like, we, we literally just experienced this, like, in MK11 with forward roll. Like, the same exact thing. The only difference is forward roll is a wake-up option, and it doesn't, it costs meter. And there's delay wake-up, so it's a little bit harder to deal with, but anyway. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.